Terry, we saw your video. We saw your home. We're sorry to even see that uh, and, and report that. Obviously, um, a horrible condition. Can, can you tell us what happened? Were, was it the um, the construction workers that that took over your home? What happened? Did you confront them? And what did you find there? Um, yeah, so I had hired some people to do some work on the house. I was planning on bringing my mother back to live with me. I had told them I would be gone for several weeks packing her up. Um, and I went to Florida, not thinking anything of it. You don't really do. I just had said, you know, you guys won't be in the house. Um, and I had a friend call and say, hey, there's somebody living in your house. And I was like, no, there's not. Uh, called the police. They said, how long have they been there? I said, I don't know, I've been gone about 14 days. And they said, well, at this point, it would be a civil matter. Can you, uh, you'll need to go through the court and have them evicted. Um, I did not go over and confront them because there were a lot of nefarious people coming in and out of the house. I had a much larger, more intimidating friend try to talk to them uh, and that didn't work. So it took eight months to get them out going through the court. Um, and the judge actually gave them an additional 30 days to appeal the eviction because it was the holidays and she didn't want them to be homeless at Christmas. This is a wild story. Uh, yes, Terry, it is. It, this is crazy. The fact that yeah. you've got people who are not paying you rent. Uh, there's no signed lease for them to even be there. Uh, did you try to I, I would think you have obviously try to prove this is your home and these people should not be there. Um, I actually did have to prove my, it was my home. On the day of the eviction, the squatter came back and demanded that I leave my house. And so I had to call the police and I had to prove I was the homeowner and actually owned the home so that they would make them leave again. And then so, eight, eight months? <laughs> you had to wait eight months to get your own home back from people that don't own your yeah. home? Yes. I had eight months. He got an additional month because the judge didn't want anybody to be homeless over the holidays, except for me. It was fine that I was homeless, but not the person living in my house and destroying it. Right now, we're looking at almost $200,000 worth of damage. Um, the insurance company kind of doesn't know what to do with this thing because I think it's fairly new. Um, but fortunately, my state senator has agreed to work on a bill, Bob Hall. And I've got a lot of support from people giving updates on TikTok who are really helpful and on my podcast um, at Beyond the Rubicon. So people are really supporting me and putting pressure on the politicians, finding out who the judge is to try and change this. But yeah, it's been an absolute and complete, unbelievable nightmare. I, who thinks this will happen in America? I, it my house and, and Texas too, no less. So yeah. it, it is good that you've got state lawmakers trying to do something about it. Uh, Terry, we were reading that they were trying to sell some of your your goods, uh, your items. I mean, did, did they show up on Facebook Marketplace? How did you know this was happening? They, we found them on Five Mile and Offer Up. All the large items, the refrigerator, the washer dryer. I had a huge dining room table. It was like ten feet long and four feet wide because the house has a beautiful dining room. And the one thing I thought is they'll never get that dining room table out of the house. They got it out of the house. It was online and it was sold. And then all the smaller items, my dishes, my flatware, clothing, shoes, purses, apparently were sold at a yard sale before I got home. Terry, you got to have some justice. You know who these people are at this point. What is being I would love done? Some um, I'm working with a detective. He wants to prosecute them. The challenge is that this is for some reason viewed as a civil matter because the person forced himself into living at my house. To me, this is trespassing and burglary, but the law is not seeing it that way. They see it as a civil matter between a tenant and a landlord, even though we never had a lease agreement. So uh, the detective I'm working with really wants to prosecute this person for burglary, um, and I'm gathering all the information to send that to him. But um, yeah, for the most part, anytime I've contacted, they're like, well, it's a civil matter if he lives there. I'm like, but. He shouldn't be living there. Yeah, that's that's the struggle. <laughs> yeah, this gray area that many did not know existed. Now finding out through these no. squatting stories, yours in Texas, we have them in New York, uh, in several others. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis stepping in and now putting in legislation <laughs> to make sure it doesn't happen. Um, and you're hoping that other states are watching your story and saying this can't happen to our citizens in this state. Terry Boyette, unreal. Um, yes, we'll be watching. Thanks so much for sharing that, Terry. We appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. I hope this raises awareness and gets laws pushed through to protect every citizen.